When we think about cyber hacks of transportation services, we usually think about vehicles or airplanes. But what about another popular mode of transportation? Trains. Hundreds of millions of passengers ride trains around the world and they are just as susceptible to cyber attacks. But don't worry, that's where Silas comes in. This Israeli company protects rail systems around the world, ensuring safety for all passengers. And here to tell us more about this is Silas' CEO, Amir Levintal. Welcome. Hi, Lida. Thanks for having me. Great to have you on. Let's jump right in. Tell us about Silas. What do you do? So Silas helps rail companies to protect their network against cyber attacks. Uh, we are solely focused on the rail industry, including metros and mail line, intercity trains. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us, maybe you have off the top of your head some statistics about the rail industry. Yeah, so in general it's a huge industry. There are 700 thousands of uh, uh, rail cars, 1.6 million uh, kilometers of tracks, and it's growing year by, by year. It's a huge industry. The networks are very complex and uh, including a uh, whole variety of technologies. Mm -hmm. And have there been cyber attacks on rail systems to date? Yeah, so actually year by year there are some cyber attacks. In 2016 there were four cyber attacks in the UK, also in South Korea, in Germany, in the US. So uh, uh, we see more and more cyber attacks on this industry. Uh, this, these cyber attacks are just part of the, the real cyber attacks because uh, for the rail companies, cyber mm -hmm. attacks are very sensitive. Uh, if people will know about cyber attacks, they might uh, not use the trains and it will harm the reputation of the uh, rail companies. So uh, we can assume that there are much more cyber attacks on these uh, on, on networks. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a frightening thought. Uh, mm -hmm. and when you say cyber attacks, what exactly does it mean? What does it entail when someone hacks a train? So cyber attackers might attack uh, the wireless communication between the control center and the train. Today, the trains are autonomous. They are being controlled. Most of the trains are being mm -hmm. controlled from the center. And the center can increase the speed, decrease the speed, or stop the train. Uh, imagine if a, 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 an attacker would do the same. He would be able to increase the speed and then derail the train. So this mm -hmm. is one example. Another example, if a, a cyber attacker, a, a threat actor, uh, penetrate the network of the train itself mm -hmm. and disable the braking system, the train might uh, not stop and, and this might cause a safety issue. Now you mentioned that there were a number of cyber attacks already that took place. What mm -hmm. happened there? So actually in these uh, cases, uh, we know that the cyber attackers succeeded to get into the operational network, the mm -hmm. safety critical network, and they, they were stopped before making their impact. Uh, but we just can imagine what could have happened if they succeeded to do that. Absolutely. And so let's talk about Silas. How exactly do you help to prevent cyber attacks? So we give the rail companies the ability to uh, detect those attackers within the network. Today, mm -hmm. the rail companies don't have the ability to, uh, don't have visibility on this network, and uh, attackers might be with the internet network right now uh, waiting for command to, uh, to make their impact. Mm -hmm. uh, we help them to detect and to uh, uh, remediate these uh, attacks. And you are the first company in the world mm -hmm to do this, to identify the threat in terms of the rail mm -hmm. system, is that right? Yeah, yeah, this is right. In uh, early two 2017, we founded the company uh, and we understood that the rail industry uh, have been introduced to a new technologies and the network is more connected and more complex. Mm -hmm. uh, and we try to understand if someone is trying to develop solution for this uh, problem, with this challenge. Mm -hmm. And we found now no one that is uh, uh, tackling this, this uh, uh, challenge uh, and we decided to found the company and to uh, help these rail companies to to have a solution for uh, for the threat. So until two that 2017 there was no company in the world that was no. protecting the rail systems yeah, from we are cyber the first attacks. To, yeah, first to market uh, company. That's astonishing. Yeah. That's a yeah. big hole in the market. Yeah, and it's a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. We we are uh, uh, we are um, investing a lot of effort to provide a solution as soon as possible to the rail companies who understand mm -hmm. that uh, passenger sa safety is paramount and, and the passenger uh, for the rail company safety is the most important thing and we help them to, to find ways to... And what rail companies do you work with today? Where, where are you 
So like, currently we are working in uh, Asia Pacific, in Europe and in the US, mm -hmm. uh, and we are working with the rail companies to uh, uh, to find a way, and, and this kind of solution is not off the shelf solution. We need to tailor our solution to the needs of the rail companies, so we're in the process of, of providing solution to a lot of rail companies over the world. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you'll get to protect all rail companies yeah. around the world. And what are your plans for the future? I mean, how do you see this, this field of cyber hacks in the rail industries? Is it only going to get worse? Are there going to be more threats as we, as we proceed? So unfortunately, we see over the years the attackers have more resources and are able to do more complicated attacks against targeted uh, um, uh, against targets. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, today, uh, uh, I hope that we won't see cyber attacks that uh, harm the, the safety, that make uh, um, accidents or derail the trend. But mm -hmm. uh, it's. It's just a matter of time that they will have the ability to do that. Well, Amir Levinthal of Silas, thank you so much for this interview and for keeping all rail passengers safe from cyber attacks. Thank you, Lida, and thanks for having me here.